This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday the 16th of April. Um, got a few stories in tonight. Uh, the first one is uh, that Moti Yacht Dilbar, the largest yacht in the world by volume, has been officially seized in Germany. So um, the vessel, uh, if you if you the first time watching my channel, the Moti Yacht Dilbar is the largest uh, yacht in the world by gross tonnage. Um, she's 156 meters in length, but she's 16,000 gross tons. That makes her the largest in the world. Um, She's owned by Alicia Usmanov, or she's alleged to, to be owned by Alicia Usmanov, and was arrested in the dry dock in Hamburg on the 3rd of March, whilst in, in the Lursen shipyard. So, um, so Germany's federal police, they did an investigation to determine who the actual owner was, because Alicia Usmanov said that he didn't own it and it belonged to family members and he would just rent it from them. Um, when he wanted to use it. So the, um, the German Federal Police discovered that the vessel was indeed registered in his sister's name. Um, so anyway, f fast forward to the 14th of April, so a few days ago, and the German police informed the European authorities in Brussels that the motor yacht was linked to Usmanov and therefore subject to asset seizure. It's important, we're gonna come back to that in a minute. So we'll move on to the next vessel now. Motiot Royal Romance, uh, 93 meter or 305 feet uh, fed ship, um, built in, well, delivered in 2015. The owner was alleged to be the Ukrainian lawyer and politician Viktor Medvedchuk, who is currently uh, under house arrest in Ukraine, charged with treason. And the vessel is currently in a shipyard in Trogir in Croatia. Now, in April, again in this month the yacht was seized so according to a source for NBC the yacht was transferred to the asset recovery agency as seized property okay next vessel we've talked about all of these vessels before by the way but this is just a recap to go into the main story Moti Yacht Tango uh, 77 meter or 255 foot fed ship delivered in 2011 owner believed to be Russian Victor Vexelberg. So this vessel was seized by US authorities in Spain on the 4th of April. So what is seizure? What is seizure as, a, as opposed to arrest? Arrest is the vessel is prohibited from moving. Seizure is the vessel is actually taken away. The ownership of the vessel is taken away from that person. Now obviously there's a big court case in between, but that's effectively the, the, the simple terms of what seizure is. And yet now you understand why I'm, I'm very uh, hot on the whether it's arrested or seized, because it mean, they, they mean very different things. So there are problems for authorities who seize vessels. So Andrew Adams is a, a New York federal prosecutor, and he was appointed the lead of the so-called Klepto Capture Initiative. So he said in an interview, when government officials take custody of assets belonging to sanctioned individuals from Russia or elsewhere, they also assume the responsibility of keeping the asset in good condition. So what are the running costs of these vessels? So a yacht such as Moti Yacht Tango is estimated, uh, had an estimated bill price of $95 million. And the general rule is that a vessel requires about 10% of its original price to run each year. So the running cost of the vessel each year is approximately 10% of the original build price. So think about Moti Yacht Dilbar. The estimated price of Moti Yacht Dilbar was between 600 and 750 million dollars. So that's a 60 to 75 million dollars a year in running costs. The thing is, that's not to say that the government is going to require, be required to spend 10% on the running costs because they're not going to be running the vessel. They're not going to be taking the vessel to the south of France for the summer. What they're going to do is they're going to do the minimum amount that they need to do to keep the vessel in the condition it was in when they seized it, right? That means actually finding people to crew the vessel, 
and making sure that they've got the right insurance, things like that. They have to keep it running like it was running under the owner. So Andrew Adams went on to say in the interview that if we seize the boat, there are people in the DOJ whose job it is to work with insurance companies, to work with yacht management companies or maritime management companies and make sure that we've got the requirements in place. We have to undertake that kind of responsibility. So how long will this take? It's, it's complicated, right? So in the case of Moti Tango, the case is being prosecuted in the, in the US. In this particular case, they are alleging in, um, money laundering uh, w within the US. So the, the case is being heard in the US. The vessel was arrested in Spain. So obviously it's got the jurisdiction of the Spanish and it's registered the flag of the vessel, the flag state of the vessel is the Cayman Islands. And, and then you've got whichever country that the yacht was registered in as being owned, right? So usually they take, they have a, a company, let's say in the Marshall Islands, somewhere like that, Cayman Islands, British Virgin Islands, and the, the vessel is registered to that company. So it comes under the jurisdiction of all of those different places. So that is time consuming and complicated, right? In the case of Royal Romance, the vessel's flag state is the Cayman Islands, but the vessel was registered in uh, the company the vessel's registered to owner is, is in the Marshall Islands, and the owner's Ukrainian. Uh, other high profile cases like this of seizures, asset seizures, have taken as long as 10 years. Okay, so what happens if the vessel is successfully taken from that person? What happens to the vessel? So, if you go back to September last year on my channel, I did a video about a vessel called the Kahu which was a luxury yacht that sailed from the Caribbean to the UK. Turns out it was full of drugs. The UK authorities boarded the vessel. They seized it, arrested everybody, destroyed the drugs. Well, that vessel is, has come up for sale. And uh, this week it's gonna be up for sale in a 24 hour auction online. And then the proceeds of that will go to the government. I don't know what the government will do with, with that money, but that is effectively what will happen at the end of the case. Let's say that Moji Tango is successfully taken by the US government, then they will, at that point, they will put that vessel up for sale. So that is the process of what happens. I see a lot of people asking me in the comments, what happens to these yachts? What happens to the seas yacht? Who's looking after it in the meantime? Well, that, that is a, a, a breakdown of effectively what will happen to these yachts after they're seized. And if they are successful with their, with their court cases, that's a, a, that will be the end game for those yachts. In the terms of Dilbar, I don't think there's gonna be that many people on this planet who could afford to buy a vessel like that or, or would want to, even if they could afford it, right? Because of the running costs. But anyway, anyway guys, I hope this has uh, cleared up the questions um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch up with you soon, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.